Alright, uh, first of all, there are some numbers. 273 in front of the well, I suppose. Is that a well? Regardless though, I'll just, I guess I'll just remember those and uh, we'll see about this chest. Those card packs are actually potentially useful because there is some, there are some things I could get from them that would be good. Huh. Or Yuli is actually better, believe it or not, in these circumstances, because uh, it is like approximately as difficult to play it as usual, which is almost impossible, but you know. Basically the only way to play it would be by using those like black goat type types of creatures that give you more blood than usual. So it's basically the same prerequisite that is in the main game. But now it just does more because it's 7-7 and stats are just more difficult to acquire in this game specifically. So it's kind of better. Okay. Well, regardless, I don't really see much of a point in using it, though. Dang nebbit! The dang hound got herself lost again! You think you're getting past think again? Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. Would you be the angler? Oh, you will be the angler. <coughs> no, no fish. No pass. I do have a fish though. I do have a fish. Can I like equip my salmon? Uh, instead of the, I don't know, bullfrog? What do you mean? But I do have a fish. Okay. Are those just uh, for aesthetics? Just to relate to the prospector and angler that uh, are found in the game or what? I do have a fish. Come on, man. Hello. Well, let's talk, I guess. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... What? I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica, you may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they're all defeated. You may wish to start with the Prospector, um, okay. What? What is this? Was it 273? Okay, whoa, 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 There's a faint odor where the meat once was, so we got meat, I suppose. I skipped it accidentally. Okay, I'll check it later. I assume we'll just, uh, we just got some meat, though. That's the idea. And, uh... Oh, so that's, uh, Mole. Uh, I mean... So what happens? What happens when we do that? I see. I see your point. I think, yeah, I think this is, uh, this is it. Yep. The drawer creaked open and you found the pack inside. What is this? Mole man. Yeah, so just a normal mole, man. Salmon? What is this? Mage pupil. If uh, you control no mox cards, it perishes. Pretty useless. We'll get it then. One more pack. Mantis God. Mantis God is incredible in this game. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. This is just ridiculously good. Where is my Mantis God? Just get it. And uh, I guess I'll just want more, like, easier to play stuff. Like, more... I don't know, man. Do I have my uh, mice? Like, spore mice or something? Why do I have... Why do I not have my spore mice? Come on, man. Something like that. I don't really need salmon, really. 
Just get like elk phone or something, it's also really good, so something like this. Okay. And there is nothing else. So I can actually go there, it's merchant I assume, right? It is merchant. Yeah, about pelts, yeah, I just like wanted to ask uh, Trapper and like Angler and Prospector about what about the merchant, but there is actually a merchant, technically. Squirrel. I have skeletons, it's pretty much the same thing, so I don't really need it. Stoat. So stoat was a thing even back then. It was a thing, yes. Worse stats though, by the way. Um, I don't know, I don't really want to buy them. I guess I can buy like a few packs. Because those are the most useful packs, I would say. Mantis God again, oh my god. Oh my god! What is this? Rockal. Waterborne, when it's played, it provides an energy cell. Eh. Eh, I don't know about that. Okay, I'll save the rest of my money. I don't really need anything else. So let's just get rid of the... Mm, bone heap? Frankenstein? Frankenstein's pretty useless. Let's just get a Mantis God. Something like this. And, um, okay. So start with the Prospector, sure. You hard of hearing? Give me some proof she's alright. Maybe get her some food. What do you mean? Where? How? Am I supposed to go somewhere? No, 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 no. Not there, but like... But I can't get anywhere. Take Nebit, I can smell that bit on you. I'm still missing that dang hound. Can't you put a little in her bowl? Oh, that's a bowl. That's not a well. I see. I see. Okay. Can I interact with it? Oh, camera. Why? Well, just to show something, I suppose. Okay. Well, I'll be damned, that's my girl. I'll let you pass me and into yonder pond, but tag damn it, first we gotta battle. Squirrel, which is whatever, but uh, we can actually play a wolf cub. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe it would be better to actually play the elk fawn before that, because... Uh, yeah, because of that, pretty much. Because of that, yes. You got it. Because <laughs> it will definitely be killed. But then we can just win, and then that's not issue anymore. Fair's fair. You bit me like a dog. Take this. Some say these air cards are better than gold. Are they? Eh? Warren, when Warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Uh, okay. Well, it's kind of good, I guess. Maybe. Not really. It's just plus one creature. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, man. So, can I talk with you again? The way to yonder pond is clear. Fish? Guess. What is this? Place the photo of bait on the line. Okay. Photo? Alright. So now I go to the angler, I assume. Fish. Fresh fish. Good. Still must bit. Mm, well, I can just kill you. <laughs> I mean, I uh, <laughs> I can just do this. Uh, well, he doesn't like die, but it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Okay, I just need to do one more damage. Well, or I can just do nothing pretty much and just win next turn. That's also good, so. Okay, let's just win. I uh, could have could have done some overkill. I don't know. I guess. 
Like, could have gone, could have gotten like three damage more, I think. Yeah, whatever. You beat, you pass first. Take. Mantis God. Okay. Well, uh, we're doing that. Yes, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Walkers are like whatever. Just get some more Mantis God in there. Also, you know what? I think actually another pair of walkers also goes out. Um, and, um, I think I will go for more just sacrifice fodder, like more skeletons, I suppose. Me? Work continue. Find fish fleshy. Is there anything good? Don't think so. Hello. Oh. Oh. Ew. Oh. So can I, like, scare him off? Yeah, to make him appear there. Exactly. Okay. Got this. What about the chest, though? And there is also this stuff. Patches of dried blood crackled as you pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. Two packs! More Mantis Gods! God damn! Okay, um, I kind of would like, actually, to get more Mantis Gods. Not Revenant, man. Why would I need Revenant? Can I get, like, um, Mantis God is good, but I also would like to get, maybe... It's a bit, like, one-sided, <laughs> what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Which is not necessarily bad, but it's a bit questionable. I would like, maybe, one more Elk Phone. Can I get it in? Bone hip is fine even just for, um, you know, even if you just don't buff it, you can just sacrifice it. So it's still good. It's still good. Sport digger is a bit more questionable, but it's also not bad. I kind of like all of the things that I have. The worst thing would be this, curve hopper. Mostly because I have no idea what it does, but uh, yeah, I'll just go like this for now. I think if I, if I start with this area, this would be the easiest, because just... Get just some few Mantis Gods, and fight just becomes so much easier. Because, you know, even before that, it was a pretty good card. <laughs> like, in an old version of this game. And in this version, it's ridiculous. It's the same card, but like... They just... Uh, the power level in this game, in this version of it, is so much lower. So much lower. So, like, the same card... There is just... That much stronger overall. So that's the Trapper, I assume. Few players visit me here. I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Hello? Oh, it is clear now that you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have glimpsed the old data. And I will speak nothing of it as a kindness. I will repeat myself, I will speak nothing of the old data. To know it is to die, but you players are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It is corrupt knowledge, so evil that it corrupted this disc. Inscription the good? No. So are you telling me I should go and look it up? Because I can, but like... I don't know. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for human life. Leave me here to ponder and carve my wood. Being Leshy's puppet has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. Oh man, so do I have a choice to actually alt-tab and uh, look it up? Okay, let's do that, I guess. Okay, no, I don't think it refers to anything. At least I didn't find any old data or anything like that. So I will assume it just refers to the, like, this game. Or, like, the, you know, virtual game that we're talking about. That we're, uh, or Luke Carter is supposed to be playing. But I can't really do anything at this point anymore anyway. So I'll just go, uh, on talk to Leshy then. I guess. Maybe that's enough. Poor hair. Take that photo to the trader. She's to your right. You... You've brought a belt! I'm pleased. 
Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. I smell the hare's blood on you. I see. So... Okay, so there's, there's like actually a legit trapper. Who is like not being used and he's like... Um, he's uh, complaining about not being used whatsoever. And then there is an actual like trader or merchant who turns into trapper. Okay. Borrowing trap can't be sacrificed when an empty space would be struck. Borrowing trap will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Also, when borrowing trap perishes, the creature opposing perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. That's fine. So I need to kill bullfrog and um, and um, um, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just go with an elk like there. Hmm. Not that good of an idea, actually. Well, maybe it's okay, actually. Coyote. So yeah, I cannot play this yet. You do not have enough energy to play that. At the start of each turn, your max energy is increases and your energy is restored. I see. Okay, okay. Would it would be helpful to get like this screen just this few rows of text somewhere before that, you know? But uh, whatever. Um. Yeah, that's okay. So let's kill the coyote then, and maybe just go with the mantis god even? Why not really? Just sacrifice the skeleton and uh... Well, like it just keeps popping up everywhere. Okay. So, uh, mantis god will die. And then uh, I will just have elk. That's okay. Okay, so Mantis God is dead, but Elk Fawn continues. And it will be enough for him to just finish it, pretty much. I don't really need to do anything. I, um... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll play the Curve Hopper. There's no need to. I can just play another Mantis God now, and it will be fine. Yeah, let's just play it. Like this. Do I win? Yeah, I win next turn. Raven, sure, but uh, no reason to do anything at this point, because I might, like, lose all of my creatures or something. Wait, no, 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 that's not the boss fight. That's not the boss fight, that's just a trader fight. Okay. The trap has shot, yet the prey escapes, and the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshe waits. Um... Nothing that good. Elk phone is pretty good, but uh, you know. Do you say anything? Oh, you're just a trader now. Right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, let's try to beat him now. You had best the unhinged prospect, the gormless angler, the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Lashy's scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, or my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures, my camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. Coyote and the Stoat. Um... I can play the Spore Mice, but uh, do I want to? Maybe I do. Let's play the Spore Mice. Okay. This is a useless ability. What is happening there with, uh, with all of those random holes everywhere? Probably nothing, really. Okay, I can't really do anything at the moment, so just skip for now. Yeah, still, let's just uh, get some more cards. I'm not in a hurry, exactly. I will need to kill this Elk Fawn, but I can just do it next turn. I don't need to do anything yet. 
Adder is not good, but I can actually counter the Elk Fawn though by doing this and then kill all of the all of his other stuff as well. So that's good. Yes, I'll lose the field mice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I know, but uh, whatever. Only the fort of that one's coast. And then stats, I assume? Stats and sigil? Is that a thing? Okay. Um, do I need to let him, like, complete his stuff before killing him first time? Somehow? But, like, even if that's true, there is no reason for me to worry about at this point, right? Because... Uh, it's easy to replay the fights, uh, as I saw before, if it's needed, so even if I, like, auto-lose, it's not really that big of a problem, regardless, so, yeah, whatever. So he'll get stats then? One moment, before that one dies, I'll need to capture its stats, yeah, and then sigil. Come. Um, sigil is like, whatever. If you need someone's sigil, I guess I will give you like a wolf sigil. Let's do something like this. Or elk sigil, it's fine. You won't be needing those, I have something better. Hmm, we never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. Ooh. Ooh. But don't I just win? <laughs> it's... Oh, that was the... Oh. Oh, that was the thing that I was uh, building. Okay. But... All right. I see. I see what's up. But if he doesn't play anything, though, that's fine. No? No, it's not fine. God damn it, it's not fine. I see, I'll just lose it then. I can block it for one more turn after that, but... Um, that's about it, though. Skip. Yeah, but then it will just kill me in two turns and I can't do anything about it. I see, I see, I see, I see what this fight is all about. Okay. I get it. How utterly disappointing. I was hoping for a greater challenge. It was all over so quickly. Oh, if I could extend the struggle. For the kill is only as satisfying as the struggle that precedes it. Hmm. Yeah, that, um, I can see that in, like, first half of the game. Okay. It computes somewhat. Will you fight harder this time? I crave a true challenge. My camera is poised. Show me something worthwhile. So, uh, I can't really make it cheaper, though. Well, I can if I play like a squirrel, but I don't have any squirrels. So, yeah, cost one is the best I can do, really. So, maybe just go with, um... Let's try to do something like this. I don't know if it's good enough. I need, I need them to kill it, in fact. Like, uh... Oh, it's wolf now. It's two blood. I can't give him like a two blood creature. Two blood is too much. It needs to be one blood, I think. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. Oh, god damn. Do I just give him mantis? I guess let's try to do it. So, yeah, cost, and then stats. Stats are also a bit of a problem, because um, I don't really have a lot of... Oh, it counts! It counts! The skeletons count! Whoa, 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 that changes everything then. Okay, let's just wait for a bit, and then see if... Uh... Okay, I can actually get the elk fawn there, and it will safely block the bullfrog for one turn, and safely grow as well, so that's something. And I guess let's just get a mantis god. I need mantis god to die though, that's the issue. Let's actually... 
Yeah, I'll lose all of the cards anyway, right? So let's actually lose uh, lose the Mantis God there. And finally the Sigil. So the idea would be to get the Sigil from it. Now I just need not to die. Which is a bit of a problem, because I will die at the moment. Um, well, I mean, I can just uh, use my ability to get, like, a bit more stats. And not immediately die. Hopefully that will be enough. Yeah, this should be fine. Currently I am winning in two turns. I can sacrifice one more skeleton and then actually win immediately. Something like this. Okay. These are inferior cards. Let's replace them. You must like them. Though the stitch work is my own, there are your cards. Now we put them to the test. My beasts enjoy a very diet. Um, I don't actually need to do anything at the moment. I can just skip for now. Yeah, that's fine. I'll kill the mole on this turn. The problem is like, yes, but it's still, it doesn't really solve the issue though. Hmm. Doesn't really solve the issue. I can do more damage with Mantis God than, than I can with Elk, but... But... Okay, let's try to do something like this, I guess. Uh, do I just kill the Bullfrog then? Maybe I just kill the Bullfrog. I think I'll try to kill Grizzly. It might be a horrible idea, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 that was a mistake. Sorry, 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 I meant to do that. Okay, this is really good. It's actually dead next turn, which is pretty good. Okay. And then I will actually replace it to do a bit more damage on this turn. And I think I should win next one. Yeah, and now we just win. I can overkill, but let's actually just skip, just in case something happens. Okay. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long-forgotten monument. Right. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Um, not interested in those. Mantis God, yeah, but we get to a point where, like, we have a bit too much of that already, so that's fine. The scribe of beasts was defeated. Yep. Stop. What is that? What? What? I had to see your face after your loss. You're just so... Bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face, because you will never see it again. Hmm, if the disc wasn't lost, huh? Okay. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. <coughs> uh, 
I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Hmm... Well, there are three other... things there, other than Leshy, so... Yeah, maybe. So, do all of the others... Say anything new now? Not this one. Do I speak with the PO3 again then? Or what? Well, actually, I probably go and speak with the guy on the bridge. No, he doesn't say anything. Okay. So I probably just talk with this guy, right? Angler is there. Sometime I try this spot. Find good fish, corrupted fish, old fish. PM3, that bot is planning something all right. It's got the dredger working over time. Oh, oh. Many cards from other temples are better sacrificed for than squirrels. For example, bone hips can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear. But more as a mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on the disc. Um, a deck focused on magical cards can be very powerful. Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Cards with activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance, balance your resources accordingly. What? You want to know about Magnificus? Mysterious guy. We all have our theories, of course. Some say he... Actually once oh no it's too terrible to say woof woof and that's it all right um I can't really do anything else then gonna like jump onto that raft but scribe only in case bad happen backup plan let she say um so I can't do anything there then well, I guess, like, I uh, could just go and check the monuments. Yeah? It is time, challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Um, well, I mean, I have no idea what that actually means, but let's follow the ambition. And uh, choose the same one that I chose uh, first time. So, yeah, I guess... That was fast. Unfortunately, my well did not yield the treasure I had hoped for. And so we're forced to undergo another torture cycle. Were it up to me, I would erase it all and shepherd us into an eternal and supreme peace. You know, like, she's probably the least interesting one out of those four, actually. <laughs> like, there is something about the robot. And obviously Lushy is like has his own story, but like she's probably the least interesting one. Not today. Who is the lucky scribe this time? Ah, oh, PO3, the very worst of them. Do what you will, vile computer. Wretched corpse woman. I won't miss her whining. Now let's play. You are supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. So, would it be like unique? So, that's a uh, same as a reroll button? I assume it looks the same. Um, would it be unique, the dialogue for each of the scribes that I would choose? I kind of would like to actually go back and pick Leshy in this case. <laughs> I think this uh, that dialogue would be uh, more interesting. But um, I guess I just skip for now. I need to see what happens before. 
Oh, that was the, just a mulligan, pretty much. I see. I mean, I guess let's just go with a... With wolf cub? With maybe, like, elk fawn? Elk fawn is okay. I'll just leave this here. I've gotta give it to that Dreja. Not as useless as I thought. Um. Something... Nature? Nature bearing? Airborne? I don't know. Corrupted? Corrupted? Whatever. So, does it just die? Well, let's see what happens. I don't know. 97. So, 99 HP in total. That's the ticket. You done, Gawking? We can start? Good. This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's rolled over by four, uh, Uberbots. That's right. And you've got to get out there and bid them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? What is this? What? What do I do? Oh, like, we're back. I see. So, we're back to, like, uh, normal... Oh. Get up? No. We've got Transcendent to do. Huh. So, we're back to normal interface. Uh, the interface that we started with. And, uh, yeah. Can't really get up from the table, though. So, okay, okay, okay. I mean, no idea what is happening at the moment, but... <laughs> I guess we'll get to it in the next episode, and for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.